Hello, it's me, the Professor Sasha Santos. Today I'm very happy because I'm chatting with the Emirate flight attendant Juliana. Juliana, thank you for that interview. And please, to begin, introduce yourself to my friends and tell us how you feel uh, that is all happening on the world at this moment. Hello, everyone. My name is Juliana. Uh, I've been working as a cabin crew since 2015. It's been a pleasure all these years to fly all over the world and work in this area. But unfortunately, it's very sad what is going on. Um, we feel really sad about the situation. Uh, aviation industry has never passed through such a difficult time and challenge time in history. Um, I believe all of us all over the world, uh, we are suffering with this moment now because all the countries, they had to put restrictions uh, and they closed their borders and due to that, we had to stop flying for a while and we still don't know when we are going to come back flying. But I really hope that all the situation end up very soon and we can come back flying the whole world again like before and um, yeah i hope all this finish very very soon for all of us how's your daily work in a large company like emirates which the point you consider a positive uh working for a big airline and the good side of this job in my opinion is that the good side of a being having crew uh internationally is that you are gonna fly the whole world you are gonna meet so different uh different cultures um religions people you're gonna make friends everywhere and you are gonna be able to see so many amazing places that you've never been and you dreamed of it's really really nice this this part as well money the salary is good when we talk about money uh, you can enjoy your life you can buy the things that you want you can save money as well so economically it's a good job it's a good uh, money and you're gonna as i said fly the whole world be in amazing hotels most of the time and yeah, it's very good job. It's very good uh, area that you can work on. Juliana, what changed in your life when you went to fly it on Emirates? Okay, um, what changed in my life? Everything changed completely, completely everything. Uh, I changed as well. When you leave your country, you leave your comfort zone and you start a new life in a different couch country. Uh, you must be prepared to change yourself as well. Like everything is gonna change. Your routine is gonna change. The way that you see the world, the way that you see yourself. Um, all my activities changed. I came to live in a new country with a different culture, different beliefs, different rules. Uh, all my friends, yeah, I made new friends, I made a completely new life. My lifestyle changed as well. So it's, it's very difficult to talk about like a specific thing that changed, but because for me, everything changed. Uh, my social life changed, economic changed as well for me uh friends as i said uh work environment everything but change it for the better juliana tell me about your interview how was your interview at emirates was extremely easy to be very honest um the process the whole process at that time is completely different from like how they do it today at the time we had the open day the assessment day and the final interview. Um, the open day, you go, you give your CV, uh, they talk about the airline, how is your life, 
outside of your country, how is going to be your life, how is going to be the job, the work and everything. They give you all the informations and everyone that was selected that day, they check your resume, your CV and how you look like, how you present yourself. So they select some of the people at that day and then they, if you are chosen, you will go for the assessment day. So the assessment day took the whole day long and we have had a lot of uh, uh, group activities where they check your knowledge uh, of solving problems when it comes to customer service, if you have an experience in customer service, uh, how you present yourself, if you are a team player. If you were to give some advice to people who want to fly it outside Brazil, what advice you would to give? Um, the advices that I give to everyone is that study English. You must have English um, fluence in this, in this language. You must speak English fluently to be able to communicate and work in this area for an international airline. And be courageous, be courageous to leave behind your comfort zone, your family, your friends. But if it, this is your dream, if you really want to be flight attendant, if you want to be a cabin crew, uh, international cabin crew, you must follow uh, these advices. Study English, as I said, be courageous to leave everything behind, to start a new life. But to be very honest with you, you'll be very happy. It will be worth it in the end of the day. And that's what I can give you guys as an advice. Well, Juliana, I would just say thank you to this interview again. And I hope this moment passed quickly and we can fly at the frequency that you always did. Please send one big, big hug to your friends, flight attendants in Dubai. Okay, take care. And uh, I hope to, to see you soon in this world, okay? And take care and have a wonderful day. Wonderful day to the guys and watching this interview, okay? Bye-bye, guys. See you later. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, everyone, for today. And I hope I've helped you guys with those informations. And if you need any more informations, if you need to talk with me, uh, just go on my Instagram, Juliana De Bellis, and we can talk more through there. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.